All right, we're pulling into the state farmer's market up here in Forest Park. Now, we're on the commercial end of it right now, but we're about to go down to the uh, retail end. We might come up here and ride around the commercial end for a minute before we're over with. They got something going on at the offices up here. They got a Forest Park policeman sitting out here with blue lights on. Now back when I was a kid, this entire place was full of people just selling like these people here, you seeing? But in recent years, it's been it's backed off a little bit, but it seems to be doing pretty good right now. You got people selling all kinds of stuff. Onions, tomatoes, peanuts. If you want some fruit or veggies, this is a place to come get it. They even got a side place back over here that sells grass. I ain't talking about the kind of grass you smoke. Of course, people right here look like they hate their doors. They decided to shut that one finally. And it was a little kid that decided to shut it. They used to have a relative that uh, owned a business over here in the commercial area. But him and his family owned it and they sold it. And I don't believe it's there anymore. There's that side place right there on the right. I don't know what that place is right there in front of us. Plant some shrubs right there. I might run right back down here and take a look in a minute. Now these units here used to be like the other units over where and been opened up. But now they closed them all up. They use them as warehouse space. That's where it is all the way up through this section we're riding in right now. I find this interesting, even though they don't have no 
so-called stores up and down through here. And that blue building in front of us is a restaurant. It's, in my lifetime, it's been five or six different things. Right now, it's a Don Burrito Grill. That's what it says. My balls ain't that strong. I love oranges, I love bananas. I love watermelons, I love cantaloupes. I got kidney problems. I ain't supposed to eat that crap anymore. But I can eat peanuts. And all your other veggies and stuff. People were selling barbecue grills and stuff. He's not having none of that. And a bunch of Hispanic stuff. There's some more of them bushes and stuff that we looked at a minute ago. Faye's Nursery. And that's a good looking Dodge truck right there. We're gonna follow him and ride up this aisle here. I hate it, all this stuff, but they can close it and don't have open stores in here anymore because that's why I remember it all being as a kid, but now it's all gone commercial in recent, you know, recent, recent decades. They sell to grocery stores and restaurants and these little foods, little fruit stands and all you see on the side of the road. Going in these small towns, you think they're local grown stuff, and then guys run up here and buy the crap and care about it and sell it on the side of the road. I'm enjoying looking at all this stuff. We used to come over here as kids and buy our Christmas trees, and can't go down that one. Here's some Christmas trees right here. Yeah, a bunch of things lined up right here on the right. Down here is all something completely different from what it used to be. Got more Christmas trees right here on the left. There's Cosmo Flora, whatever that is. There's 
a place here called Two Dozen Roses, $21.99. They got locations in Forest Park and Norcross. That's the Georgia Department of Agriculture shed there. It looks to be mostly Christmas decoration, it's wreaths and stuff. I'm not gonna drive up here, I don't think. Then we're back over here next to the Forest Parkway. We got more Christmas trees on my left. Right now it's prime season. It's just it's Thanksgiving last week. So everybody's out buying the Christmas trees. They ain't put one up in years. My son's grown up. So that's pretty much riding it riding through this bottom section down here. Um, I'm going to ride through it myself a little bit and then I'll carry you up to the top section. I'm going to stop this recording for a minute right here. I'm going to go back down this session. I have stuff I want to look at. What you're seeing right now is Jammin' Designs. It says it's Metro Atlanta's largest pottery outlet. When I first pulled in here, I thought it said Metro Atlanta's largest poultry outlet. We got a little dinosaur there on the ground. Those are nice looking. We got a tiger, a turtle. We got a bunch of pretty pottery back there. I just thought this is interesting, so I went back in here, so I turned on the camera to see it. I don't know what them things are. Are they pineapples or something? A couple globes. Some Asian stuff. And some lions. And they got some cactuses right in there. I might jump in there and see how much those are. I need one. Well, they got a couple of nurseries back in here. I thought I'd ride by. I'm sort of looking for another butterfly bush in my backyard. What you're looking at right now is Faye's nursery. Silver Ilbert Nursery, but they ain't got nothing in there right now. I'm gonna turn around and ride back up this other side. All of this has changed a lot since I was young. Nice pottery too. Yeah, a lot of plants, but I don't see any blood right, blood, 
butterfly bushes. Okay. That's it for that, I guess. I guess all that's rivers, plants, and shrubs. I guess I'll go down the back side of it and see what I can see. I just drove past on my right, on my left now. They sell stone right here. Super stone. I don't know this part of the super side folks back here or not, but got a lot of different stones back here. Yeah, that's right here next door to the super side folks. I imagine it's all the same folks. There's Cook's Pine Straw. Center. And I guess now you got the closed off spaces here and some warehouse spaces. got what used to be the exhibit hall back here, but I don't think they run it as a exhibit hall anymore. Food Depot back here. I believe that might have used to be in the exhibit hall. I can't remember exactly which building it was, even though I've been in there a few times. Wholesale food service back here. Okay, I think I'm about to carry you up to the commercial end.
big food depot warehouse on the right. We're just gonna scoot around a little bit up in here. On the left is a potato place. You see an airplane flying over right there. The airport's just to the right. Produce Exchange of Atlanta has a building on the right. And straight ahead is Brito Produce, an all-American food network. Those two businesses occupy that building. I used to know a lot of these people, but a lot of these places have changed hands in the last 20 or 30 years. Now we're going down the back side of a couple of these buildings. You'll see they have a lot of refrigerated storage out here. It's temporary unit set up. And a lot of these businesses are now owned by uh, Hispanics and such. A fair amount of our produce comes from down in Mexico. Those buildings across from the Forest Parkway is also occupied by produce companies. seeing so many trucks in here right this moment is that it's 2.30 and most of these businesses here close down about 3. There's Food Depot's Georgia Tomato on the left and the reason they close down so early is that they open up real early. Uh, they had to get the produce out to the restaurants before they open so they have time to prepare their food and all uh, and get to the grocery stores before they open and so they get started there's a dairy place on the left they get started real early in the mornings and close early in the afternoons. About when I was young, I used to uh, drive in some produce here from North Carolina, and they opened their doors at three o'clock in the morning, and that's what time I had to have it here. And they, uh, you know, it's really a uh, tough uh, schedule. Now right in front of us, that's Georgia Grown, Cheryl's Best, and Nikki Gregory. I don't know what that is. I ain't never heard of them until just then. But this is where I'll 
if you live in Metro Atlanta, this is where the vast majority of your fruits and vegetables that served in restaurants and sold in grocery stores comes from. Not all of it, but the vast majority of it, probably 90% or better. And that's going to pretty much end our tour Well, at this point, I've run out of roads <laughs> pretty much. I'm going to cut back through here. But ahead is the Forest Parkway. And those buildings across the street. which are still used as an extension of this. This farmer's market is owned by the State Department of Agriculture. Now, unless they change things, so everything over here is leased on annual leases. They expire every year. Nobody has like a 10 or 20 year lease. And, um, uh, the leases here are worth a good bit of money. This place is full. If a business wants to come in, there's no place for them to go. And if you got a business over here that you want to sell, uh, you'll get a pretty penny for it just because of the lease. But that was your tour, and I'm about to head out. Look. Got somebody wanting to come around me now. That's it. Have a great day.